Hey guys, so on Saturday I found myself back in Pennsylvania, specifically Hershey, to participate in a walk for ALS. My intentions were twofold. I was walking in memory of my grandmother, who passed away from the disease in 2011, and in honor of Bob, a gentleman I met while I was a college student. Bob was one of the few people that I knew throughout my college career, and one who could always put a smile on your face. He was also a phenomenal omelet chef and taught me how to make his signature omelets that I now make regularly. The walk took place at the Penn State Hershey Medical Center and was only a two mile walk around the campus. I had never been to this specific spot in Hershey before, but I didn't realize how massive the campus was until I got there. The walking was good for me. One of my former professors was there with his family, and the mother of a student I worked with at college was there as well. Once the walk was over, I left, drove north and then east, stopping in home briefly for lunch and to visit Baba since she was up at home for the weekend, and I hadn't seen her since New Year's. And then I had to change, so here's a little movie magic. I then headed west toward Reading, went to church, and then drove over to the Reading Airport where they had the annual World War II weekend, only I went there specifically for the 1920s themed swing dance. Dan was there, as were other people I knew from college. The evening was spectacular. They had so many people dressed in period-accurate clothing. These two guys did the classic Abbott and Costello Who's on first routine. We danced a lot. There were bagpipes. More dancing. And then we all sang God Bless America. I drove west in the rain back toward Harrisburg and was forced to stop for gas because of a situation which me from the past will explain to you. So apparently a friend of Dan's who was at the dance is having car trouble and now I'm asked to stay here at this truck stop to wait for him to take him home. That coupled with the fact that I have to drive to Virginia tomorrow equals very little sleep for me. Stand by. Update, they are on their way and hopefully will be here within a half an hour, which I highly doubt. But they're on their way at least. I guess I could use this time to reflect on the events of today. I mean, there were a lot of things that happened. I covered a lot of ground over the span of a short amount of time, but I'm really grateful for all the people that I got to see today and spend time with today, even if it was for just a really short amount of time. And I don't feel like I say that enough to people when I spend time with them. You know, we take for granted people in our lives thinking that, you know, they're always gonna be there. And I think personally, one of the greatest gifts that any person could give us is their time. Giving up your own time to help someone or just spend time doing something that they like is a real sacrifice. and. I really don't feel like I say that enough to a lot of people. So if I spent part of the day today with you, thank you for giving me your time. And it was a pleasure spending time with you, even if it was a really short amount of time. I feel like I should say that more often. So I'm gonna continue waiting. Thank you again, everyone, for a great day. And I'll see you all on Thursday.